Hey guys, um, well here's today's update. I have another video sitting to the side, and uh, but I thought I'd do this first. So I got a little something today. Uh, it's an early birthday present since my birthday is next week. Um, instead of using my, uh, uh, that I can't even find it, it's on my tripod over here, if you can see it. Um, I got one of the um, Belkin iPhone holders and you know it works great for holding the phone it's what I've been using when I take my videos um, to put on the tripod but the software that comes with it it's complete and utter crap um, I don't know if it's set up for using on a, like an iPod touch or something like that but it uh, resizes your video it dupes down the the quality you know, I have an iPhone 4S, and it actually takes 1080p. And uh, I don't even know if you guys even care what the video quality is, uh, or if anybody upgrades it. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not real happy with it. So, uh, I went to Best Buy today, and this is not what I went there for. But, uh, I actually have a Gunpla Nut, Gunpla Nut, sorry, dude, um, to thank for this. Because he mentioned it over there, and... Uh, you know, I've wanted one of these, but all Best Buy has had is uh, their stupid Best Buy brand uh, blue package, and I just, I didn't like it, and uh, they had had this. Now, he got the Spider Pod, and he mentioned something about someone recommended a Gorilla Pod, and uh, they actually had this, and it was $4.99 um, compared to, what, their their brand was like $14.00. So I had to pick this up. Um, but that's not what this video is about. Um, this may be the last video you see with me using um, the iPhone. And, you know, I love the quality and everything, but it's a pain in the butt when I'm uh, doing my videos. And, uh, you know, I'm constantly having to tap the screen. I can't see the screen when I'm doing the video. Sorry, I'm all shaky because I normally don't hold the camera. And I've had a little too much caffeine. Um, anyway, so, uh, now, uh, this may end up going back, um, but, uh, it's a happy birthday to me, and again, uh, shout out to, uh, Gunpla Nut, uh, for, he actually got the, the CX-210, and I did some comparison online, uh, this is the 190, and the only real difference is, um, one the uh the 190 doesn't have the touch screen and it doesn't have the built-in uh memory in it um which is fine i already have uh i think i have a 8 a 16 a 32 and i think the 32 is the largest uh, memory card that i have a uh, gigabyte so uh so that's what i got on there um and i you know, I was now this thing compared to I have some like Jack Skellington type freaking hands, okay? Uh, so I have long fingers, and uh, when I have this in my hand, I can pretty much like wrap my whole wrap my whole hand around it. It's so tiny, uh, perfect for my girlfriend because she's got little little hands. Um, anyway, so um, oh, uh, and on this one, I, I like uh, all the controls and everything are over here. They're really easy to navigate. Um, and so I'm hoping to be able to set the video, the camera back, flip the camera over to the side, which I think if I can do it one handed, like so. So I can actually set up my camera over here like this and be able to see what I'm doing, glance over and see what I'm doing um, and it not be in the way. Um, and that's one of the reasons I haven't done a lot of videos. Now, the drawback on this was, um, it was a open box special. Um, it was $30, $40 off the regular price. I think it was $30 off because it was an open box. Um, literally all I got was the camera, the battery, uh, the power cord, and the USB cable. There was no instructions with it. There wasn't the original box. The salesperson's like, oh, the person upgraded to the 210 and, and uh, they bought this one and upgraded to the 210. Uh, yeah, I don't quite buy that. But 
Um, and I was really hesitant because, like, I like Sony brand because I am a Sony bitch. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I owe them my soul. Pretty much everything I have except for uh, my laptop, which is a Dell, is a uh, Sony. Um, it just it, it stands the test of time. Oh, I take that back, except for my Nikon, which is over there, and I hardly ever use it. Um, you know, I've thought about a couple times putting that up as a major contest prize because <clears throat> it's a great freaking camera. I, I just don't end up using it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do a short vid uh, with this. Um, going over and you guys let me know what you think as far as video quality um, I did get a little bit done on this and uh, the only reason I'm saying it on here is so that you guys can see the difference um, between the video anyway so I did get a little bit done as far as pinning the hair is a is a nightmare oh yeah uh, one of my my drawbacks about getting the open box is you know there were some scuffs and stuff on there and then once I got it home I realized the uh, the charger cable one all the cables weren't there the original comes with uh, you know the audio video to be able to plug in the TV not a big deal I have a box of that crap uh, in the garage uh, not even in the garage I have some lane right there um, but uh, the, the cord that they they put in here it isn't even the original cord. It's some um, I don't know what cord it is. It works, but that doesn't mean it's right. So I'm debating on uh, returning it, spending the extra thirty dollars, and getting it straight out of the box. Um, let me know what you guys your guys' opinion on that. Um, I would really appreciate that. My other thought is um, I started doing some research, and the um, GoPro Hero 2, which is primarily used for, you know, sticking on mountain bikes, racing cars, your head, for extreme sports, things like that. Uh, you know, I really like the design on it, and, um, you know, it's small, it's portable, it films in 1080p, uh, you can hook up a microphone to it, uh, you know, I don't do anything extreme, but then again... Uh, it might come in handy having it and mounting it um, up underneath my my deck over here or my shelving uh, with its little case. You know, it'll keep out any uh, resin dust. Uh, you can I can stick it right over my paint booth and not worry about getting any paint on it and everything. Uh, it's the same price as this. Um, the only downside, though, they do make an adapter so you can view wi uh, wirelessly through Wi-Fi and I could set that up to my laptop so I would be able to see the screen or what's being filmed on my laptop while it's filming um, but the the camera itself um, is the same price as this was um, so you know let me know if any of you have any experience with uh, the the GoPro Hero 2 uh, let me know um, I, they have the, the GoPro, uh, the original one, or the Hero, um, at Best Buy, and it's it's one ninety nine. but from what I've seen, the, the lighting quality, it's just a better camera for the, the Hero 2, so that's what I'd end up getting. Uh, if you guys have any uh, thoughts uh, or experience, let me know. Um, I'm going to shut off this one, and I'm going to do a quick roundabout uh, with the new camera, and let me know what you guys think about the, the difference in quality. Or should I just uh, return that and buy a bunch of kits and uh, stick to uh, my iPhone? Um, but I, I I really like uh, having a separate a separate camera other than relying on my iPhone. Um, so give me just a second. Okay, guys. So uh, here we are. I actually have this set on uh, max uh, frames which is uh, 1080p and um, you know I'm gonna have to look at this playback this is the first time of shooting any video with it and um, so I'm still not real familiar with where all the um, the mics are and everything with it um, anyway I do notice at least on my screen that everything is a lot brighter um, 
than with the iPhone. Uh, one of the things that I noticed, um, you know, my skin tone looks a lot better. That's for sure. Uh, where it always ends up coming out all blotchy and everything. Um, zoom in, pores. Ah, that's the maximum it's going to zoom in. Um, so we'll go over, here's my test that irritates everybody. It focuses in real well on things like that. Um, so I've actually got the camera, I want to say about six to eight inches away, like so. And, uh, it's doing a, a fairly good job of staying in focus and I'm doing the the zoom in so so there it looks like it gets a little fuzzy so I'm gonna back that off all the way and I'm actually gonna bring it to it and uh, literally the it's touching the camera so if I need to, I can get really, really close. You know, I am, I am pretty happy with uh, as far as um, the the quality of the video. Though I will have to see this on playback. Uh, you know, I, I'm watching it on the little mini screen over here. Um, I seem to be getting truer colors. Is it going to focus? Yeah, it finally does. It takes a little bit to focus, but it's not as bad as having to touch, tap the screen. And uh, I think I am, what, like three feet away, almost four feet away. Yeah, you can tell from the shakiness. Now you guys know why I put it, put it on a tripod. Um, let's see. Not bad. Autofocus does pretty good. You know, I'm pretty sure, I, you know, messing around with this, I think um, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to keep this one. And that's not, that's actually pretty good. I'm shining it right at the light. So it has pretty good, uh, not too much lens flare that way, at least when it's zoomed in on it. Uh, the top shelf, I don't think I've ever actually shown you guys uh, my shelves and everything. You know, one thing I do like uh, so far that I've noticed compared to uh, like the Nikon or my uh, other Canon, my old Canon, is you couldn't have it plugged in and charging um, and take a video or anything. And this, this is allowing me to take a video while it's plugged in and charging. Uh, so that's a really cool feature. Anyway, I don't want to go too long on this, so this is it. Let me know your guys' uh, thoughts and everything on it. Um, should I go with the GoPro? Should I try it? Um, you know, I actually have a 45-day return policy. Should I return this one and get one brand new out of the box? Um, or should I just flip with this one and not be a bitch about not having the instruction booklet and the perfect little box and the uh, exact cables and everything? Um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later.